All right, we're opened up on the number three ABS brakes control module. We went to coding here. His original code, the last digit there was a two. So you can see right there. We changed it to a nine, and this is what we came up with. Originally, this car only had two options. It had activated and ASR off. It did not have the ESC sport button. We are now gonna try to uh, to give ourselves an option to turn the stability control completely off. All right, so what we did is we changed the last digit there to five. Coding was accepted. We now have these options here. We can turn it completely off. Now what you just saw was a 2016 Golf 1.8 TSI. Uh, the Golf does not have the stability control or traction control button next to the shifter like this 2015 GTI does. See, I've got my plaid seats right there. Uh, so with this vehicle, if I press the, the way I have it coded is if I press the traction control button uh, once with one tap, I turn off my traction control. In order to turn my stability control off, I have to turn that back on. I will press and hold. I'm holding it now, and I have my stability control completely off. And just like the Golf, of course, you could go into your, uh, hit the car button, go down to your settings, and go to ESC system. A couple other things I have uh, programmed on here as well. Uh, first thing on here is pretty easy the uh, light settings I could turn the daytime running lights off and on via this this option here of course I have the uh, lighting package so I have the adaptive front lighting which is absolutely worth every penny if you're looking for a GTI you should definitely get one now my car is a 2015 S trim level which means I did not have I do not have automatic headlights I did add a European switch with an aftermarket sensor. We'll save that for another time. Um, I did go on to, I did log on to the VCDS system and did bring this option up here to have my coming home, leaving home light function available. It is listed here. Um, if I were to turn this thing on, it doesn't work. There's some other coding issues I have to work on. I'm doing more research on that. If anyone knows how to do it without having the factory light sensor to get these uh, features to work, that would be appreciated. Um, that's one thing right there I have. Another thing I've unlocked was a synchronized mirror adjustment. Uh, I haven't really figured that out. Either I didn't do it right or something's not working right. I'm not sure what's going on with it. I have the lowering re in reverse uh, enabled here. In order for that to work properly, the uh, switch here needs to be on the right side. It will only lower the right side mirror. I personally don't really like it because when it, uh, when it goes down, it goes down too far. And of course, when you try to adjust it and then when it goes back up to normal, uh, it's normal setting, it's too high and it just throws everything off and I'm always tinkering with it afterwards. So I generally don't use it. This is my 2015 GTI on the right, my brother's 2016 Golf on the left. Both vehicles have the hazards on, and both vehicles have the tail lights on. The daytime running lights or the tail lights are flashing differently in both cars. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what I've done there with the coding to accomplish that, please let me know in the comments section below, and please like and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos.